20th Century Fox has released the final trailer for X-Men Apocalypse, showing a lot more of what we can expect from the May 27th release, including confirmation that Wolverine is in fact in the movie, as many reports have suggested. Along with the confirmed appearance by Hugh Jackman's Wolverine, the film also stars James McAvoy's James McAvoy, Oscar Isaac, Michael Fassbender, Jennifer Lawrence, Nicholas Holt, and Rose Byrne. Schnepp, what do you think of the final trailer for Fox's X-Men Apocalypse? <clears throat> well, me and Dennis just did a trailer reaction. I don't know if it's up yet. But no, it'll be up it'll after be up, this. It'll be up right after you see this episode. And um, to be honest, I thought the trailer, this I think it's the fourth trailer. They had a teaser and then two regular trailers. Maybe this is the fourth one. It feels like it's a lot of trailers right now. It's pretty good. I wasn't blown away by it. It had a lot of the same footage from all the other trailers kind of mixed and matched with some new shots. A little bit more of Jennifer Lawrence kind of like really kind of playing a very dull mystique. Like all of her line deliveries like, we're going to war. It's a we're fighting a god. I'm really bored playing this character. <laughs> um, everybody else is great in it. So, yeah, I mean, I'm still looking forward to it. Of course, you get the little snicked at the end, which, you know, we all knew was coming. So, you know. I can't wait to see the movie. I'm tired of the trailers. Yeah, I, well, I, I feel the same way. I did love that thing at the end that, yeah. that we're talking about. So that was the big selling point of the trailer to me. I didn't, I, like, I, it, does it look like Jennifer Lawrence mailing it in is such a strong word. I'm not saying she's licking a stamp and going to FedEx <laughs> with it, but it does feel a little weird. Like, you see all these reports where it's like she does, she really wanted out and she did everything she could to get out of this thing. So she's just done with franchises, which, like, look, I totally understand. She's been a part of a lot of these big movies over the last few years, but I don't see see that to the level you do Dennis is your take that she is just done with this series and is totally mailing it in or do you think she's given a little bit of something I don't know about done with the series but it's it's something I think uh, John Campion and John Schnepp had mentioned before and I hadn't really noticed it in the movie trailers until this one this is the one where they focused a lot on her and I thought her delivery and I'm not one of like I said in, in our trailer review and reaction I'm not one of those bandwagon haters of Jennifer Lawrence I still think she's great I think she's a fantastic actress I don't have fatigue with her at all so these this comes from a non-hater thing it, it's she just seems like she's not that interested in being there and those line deliveries aren't very good um but as in terms of the trailer i liked it, it was good I, I like i think the last one the best this one definitely had more elongated scenes extended sequences and the wolverine thing i think i i really liked it except for we we kind of had already heard rumors that that this was going to be in this trailer we also already kind of knew that he was going to be in the movie anyways they had that awkward you were at comic-con right in hall h absolutely they, they had that weird interaction between brian singer and hugh jack oh those guys should not take that show on the road no, anytime soon that no. was not i they were maybe trying to improv something funny but it was not <laughs> it wasn't working and so it's just one of those things we knew was going to happen yeah but there's just something about trailers that i get really excited to watch these things they're little two minute pieces of art and while the first part of it i didn't need because like we're all talking about we're already excited about this movie it's not something that we like okay this trailer it's going to determine whether i see it opening weekend i am over the moon about apocalypse already so i just needed that little extra treat if i didn't get it i was going to be fine i was still going to expect to see wolverine in the movie but seeing this yeah it got me got me going a little bit this morning i i dug it yeah, and the visual effects, you can tell they're improving them every, every time. Yeah. Every time. So hopefully they're <laughs> yes. done by May 29th. Yeah. Right. Hey, guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.